How well received was the Garlic Bread song last year? Because that, that was the first year that we'd properly like collaborated to actually make this thing. And it was in the spirit of, it was supposed to be a romantic gesture for Christmas for you. How was it yeah. taken? Um, I think I got about a month's worth of mileage out of that money, maybe. So like if I did something wrong, like couldn't unpack the dishwasher. I'd be like, remember the song? Remember that song that I wrote? And she'd be like, okay, Adam. But yeah, no, yeah. I, I think I'm... But although you were listening to it the other day, do you remember when you were ironing? I listened to it this morning on the way here. Classic. I love that song. And, you know, all of my friends would be like, oh my God, he wrote a Christmas... Not a Christmas song, but he wrote a song for you. Yeah. And I'm like... Because mm, I, I don't really think of it like that. You're, I know you're, you were doing it for you know the stroke charity raise money and stuff um and i was like oh you know it's it's just something and they're like no if you listen to the lyrics it's about you and i'm like well obviously because i love garlic bread but i don't know just yeah. Lynn's knows well. we don't we try not to make things we, we don't um take we're ourselves so- too seriously yeah though, we're you not know. soppy and lovely, you're downplaying it aren't you nah, well I, we're not we're, we're really not like I don't think we're necessarily sentimental in that, but I I knew that like Lynn's in a heart of hearts would for, at least for a split second listen to that and think, oh, that's nice. And it's very rare that she gets the opportunity to do that about anything that I do in life, really. So he took advantage though. That was the only Christmas present I got. No, come off it <laughs> right joking, now. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I am boss. joking. <laughs> this is already going to make me look terrible. I definitely did get you some presents. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I got a nice little sloth necklace do you remember that year i bought you the fucking the, what's <laughs> that, that brown dog, bag the dog handbag so that just came to me this, then this is just adam all over it out here open this and it can only be described as like want leather it want we'll fake be, leather it i don't even know we'll what material get, we'll it was probably be able to get a picture of it, i reckon and it looked like a, a dog that had been run over multiple <laughs> times no it was a, oh, you man. look for the picture and i opened it and he was like it's probably like one of them designer bags that and i was like <laughs> what it was looked like from wish <laughs> and the dog's face was just like scru- i can't even describe it it was the worst looking bag ever and he was like are you gonna use it today i was like it's christmas day <laughs> it's hard i can't get you a picture of it. it it's hard to explain right but it was actually it was a it's horrible it was the bag right so it was a like a, a woman's like a what were you what you kind of handbag it, like but a big shoulder big, bag a big one yeah shoulder bag right horrible but the, the actual body of the bag was like it was pl- kind of plastic, but it was meant to look like the body of a of a, an actual dog, and it had a dog head on it. And she was, was always horrible. joking about she likes animals, right? I, and I really <laughs> I don't want a pet ever. Don't uh, want a dog handbag there. No, but I, I thought it would be kind of a gag to say, oh well, that, okay, we can't get a dog, but I've got your handbag shaped like a dog in which you can put things. And I thought, she, and it was actually pretty expensive. I think it was like 120 quid or something. What? And yeah, it was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought she would really like it and get the gag, and she was a bit like, that's terrible. I'm never using it. Um, and I don't know if I kept the receipt, so we would probably still got it somewhere. I think I've still got it in the loft somewhere. I thought it was, you need to get up in the loft. We need to see this bag. For, we need to get it on this episode. It is the yeah. worst. Honestly, it's the worst thing ever. I opened it and I half laughed and I was like, what? "What? What's this? It's like, oh, it's like a design, you know, like celebrities. They have like those quirky bags. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, it was expensive. Has he upped his game since then then? Yeah. Definitely. Take he, he asks more questions now, or he'll take the hint when I say, "Oh, you know, I really would like this for Christmas." After yeah, about yeah. five or six times of saying it, like, "Have you ordered any of your Christmas presents yet?" And he's like, "No." I'm like, <laughs> right. Well, here's a list. It's, yeah, I used to think it was kind of romantic, you know, to get surprised because I hate, you know, when you get a Christmas gift and you've like, so my mum will be like, "What do you want for Christmas?" And I'm like, "Well, if I tell you, then it's not." It's not a surprise, is it? You just get me some socks, all right, cool. Whereas if I open some socks, they're still socks, but I'll be like, ah, mum got me some socks. That's nice, might have some design on them or whatever. She still gets me like socks that have Spider-Man on them, like Thor (laughs) and stuff like that. I still wear them like, but um, yeah, so I kind of think, I I used to think it was good to do things that are, you you take a risk, right? (laughs) With like, with a dog bag. If she doesn't like it, okay, I'll try and keep receipt. But now she'll just say, oh, get me this makeup. I'll sort of just write it down and buy that. And then she'll be happy on Christmas Day. What does the little hairy man like for Christmas then? Like, what's he, what, oh, what do you buy? the worst person to buy for ever. Like, literally me, his mom and his sister, everybody say, what do you buy the guy who has everything? Who, not, every, not everything in like a material sense, but you always say you're very happy. You've got everything that you'd ever want and need. 
Um, so what what do you buy somebody apart from socks and underwear that socks and underwear? But yeah, but you, you don't just want that on Christmas Day. The one thing that Adam always asks for that I always struggle with, um, <laughs> no and he always puts the pressure on me. It's never on his sister or his mum. He wants a toy to play with on Christmas Day. <laughs> you are a man child. I mean, I mean like, like when what, you say toy, what? I'm not talking like a fucking action man or something. I'm I'm, I'm talking about like, like you know, a nerf gun. Cause, or yeah, because you're like. She, well, maybe nah, because I couldn't shoot anyone. Because the reason I want it right is because like on Christmas morning we'll work. She she loves to, so she wake me up at like five thirty, right? So really early. Yeah. So we get up. Christmas. Right? Yeah, and we'll open our present stuff up. And I said, then she'll go off to see her family. And I typically don't go. With he her. is invited, by the way. I don't I, just I did, leave him. I did come last year, I think. Was it that last year? Yeah, or the year before. She, oh, no, it but anyway, she she kind of doesn't like the idea of me being at home alone, right? On the, before we go to whatever, we cook dinner for my family. They come over, or we go see my family, whatever. So I'll say, it's all right. You can go see your family. Just make sure you get me something to keep me entertained. Like, I don't know, like a radio control car or... I bought you one of those last year and you didn't even play with this it. This year I've been asking for a saxophone. I don't know why. I just want to see if I can uh, have a little tinkle on it. But I think they are quite expensive. Yeah, um, I think they are, yeah. And but, this uh, is the first I've heard of that. No, I, 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 I tried, like, what I, date? I've, I've dropped the hint like five times now. You've got about... Yeah, you've got about a week. Well, to get anyway, it. I, I, I'm not expecting to get the saxophone anyway. But she has. she's good. done a couple of like really, really, really good ones though, over the years. Some what? really cool ones. Like what, one, one year she got... Do, do you no, I'm going to say which one was your favourite because my favourite was... Which which one's your favourite? Um, The bike and Emma Watson. That wasn't going to be my favourite. That was a good one. So a lot of people might... I'm coming across as a bit of a pervert here. But like I've, <laughs> I've got, I think I've got a little bit of... You know, we did a, like a list... You know, you have those lists where you, you say like, you know, if you ever met a celebrity, you yeah. get a bit of a free pass if, if they ever offered a night of, you know, passionate lovemaking with you. Uh, all right, and yeah. you could, I don't a, whole think that's, a whole pass. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think that's ever going to happen. But Lindsay's is like Tom Hardy, right? Naturally. My, mine's Emma Watson. Don't, don't ask me why, just just is. <laughs> um, but so, so one year, she, I'd wanted this, um, like, a low ride. I don't really ride bikes, right? But for some reason, I got it in my head that I wanted, like, a low rider bicycle, right? So, like, a pedal bike, yeah, but, yeah. you know, the low rider style yeah. ones. And they're really expensive, right, aren't they? Yeah. You can't really get them anywhere. They're not abundantly available. But anyway, I don't know. Somehow she sent me on like a bit of a wild goose chase right, around the house, I think, didn't you? To, so I yeah. wouldn't be where where this present was, right? So I, I'm following all those clues, getting like little mini presents, stocking fillers. I came down and, and she somehow, I don't know how she'd done it, because it was in the old house, which is really yeah, small. Yeah. She'd secreted this bike, right, which was wrapped up, right? Did you wrap it up? No, no. Well, it wasn't wrapped. wrapped. No. Um, but anyway, this this low rider bike, right? And it was next to a ca- cardboard cutout, like a life-size one of, of, uh, of yeah, of Emma Watson. I was like, wow. This is uh I don't know is, which one you preferred more. The, the, bike, oh, the, the bike. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. So we left it in the old house room when we left. We, when we left the old house, we left the cut out of oh, Emma yeah. Watson by the window, you know, a bit like home alone. So like people this. would think that there was somebody still in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, that was that, that was a cool one. I, and I couldn't ride the bike. I was gonna for, say you, you went out once. Why because right, you couldn't reach floor. No. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't ride because like the balance of it was so weird, you know, compared to like a normal yeah, like, yeah. when they say it's like riding a bike, if I get on a normal bike now, I'll be able to ride it, right? Might take me a little while to find my mm. balance, but like on that, because it's so are you so far back from it, and the, the you know the, <laughs> <laughs> the handlebars up there. In fact, I didn't, I never mastered it really. We still got it's actually yeah, my, it's my, my studio. My studio, yeah. Well, luckily I've got an exclusive for you because we're going to actually make your Christmas because next week Tom Hardy's coming in the studio. <laughs> Don't say that. And, I thought that we're, we're not telling you that's a Christmas present. We've got the hall pass and everything. Like, that's a Christmas present sorted. I wish I mean, was, how, how unlucky is he? I'll be down. Oh, what? I'll be down and out. I'll be down and out on that one for, year, for years if we if we managed to swing that. Somebody Tom, who I Tom used come on the show. To, somebody who I used to work with, his sister's husband's somebody was married or is married to Tom Hardy. Oh, really? Is Tom Hardy married? Mm. Didn't know that. Five degrees of separation, right? We can get him in. That's yeah. it. Get him on the list. Maybe not, actually. Mate, like James Martin won't even come in, the, the local <laughs> TV chef. <laughs>